Hi, I'm Dan. Welcome to Gravel Pit Road. This is the pump. Uh, I've rebuilt this pump. Uh, took it took it off, tore it apart, rebuilt it, videoed all of it for you. Uh, and I talk extensively about this little T valve right here. That little T right there, it's a roll pin through a little uh, needle valve. That is the destroker inside the pump. And it works a spring on the other side, a little valve system that slides up and down. And it pressurizes and depressurizes this pump. It is currently in D stroke, meaning I threaded this all the way in, opening up the valve inside the pump, which like creates a bypass so that I can uh, easier cold start. But in this case, uh, I have to set the pressure on this pump. And currently I have a, a uh, it's like a set screw, but it's a pressure adjustment on the bottom of this destroker. It's out open about as far as I'm comfortable doing it, meaning it's as low as pressure as possible. It's my first time starting this tractor with this pump rebuilt on there. I don't want any pressure that I uh, don't need. Um, and it's primed. I know the pump is primed with oil, I'm hoping anyway. Uh, we're good to go. So uh, my next step is to, so basically that pump should be running fairly idle with no pressure, or I'm sure it'll have pressure, but little. It has to run it. 2000 psi 1700 psi to do anything uh, and hopefully it's way below that get ready to adjust the pressure on this pump and uh, using this pressure gauge i made this configuration from fittings from tractor supply the gauge came from amazon so uh i got a quarter inch hydraulic line off the power steering pump about 20 dollars in fittings from tractor supply I think this was about 11 or 12 dollars on amazon and i'm going to put it right here onto this power steering line that i unhooked right here it goes like that like that take that off i'm going to put this here get my hand out of the way i'll mount that there and see if i can get a reading on it i want to show you this real quick because i discovered i believe the proper place to actually put your pressure gauge i was using the power steering line but in the pump there's a little plug right here and i'm going to guess it's like a 5 16 threaded the the size of the it's a 5 16 hole uh and that i believe is where you're supposed to put the pressure gauge to set your pressure uh, but the pressure gauge is a quarter inch it doesn't fit in there and i don't have an adapter so instead of spending twenty dollars on fittings at tractor supply I should have bought a reducer a quarter to I'm guessing that's a 5 16 and I could have put the pressure gauge directly into the pump and probably got a lot more accurate reading but uh, oh, I'm satisfied just thought I'd share that with you you gotta have your allen wrench in there to hold that set screw or the set screw will spin with the wrench. And, uh, and then you just start it all over. So I know where I'm set at right now. I don't want to change that adjustment. But I still have to hold this set screw still. Oh my gosh. I'll break this thing loose. And then I'll bring you in. All right, I got the nut broken loose. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to edit this to make any sense because my arm's in the way, but the wrench goes there uh, and you gotta loosen it. And while you loosen it, you have to take this Allen wrench and put it in the hole. And you gotta hold the Allen wrench while you loosen the nut or you'll spin the, the whole setup. Your whole adjustment will spin out and uh, mess you up
So now that I have that, it's kind of loosey-goosey. I've got to get this Allen wrench back in there and turn the set screw uh, upside down clockwise and make my adjustment. So you're not gonna be able to see any of this because my arm is in the way until I start to spin it. And it's hard enough just to get the Allen wrench in there. It just, there's nothing easy about this job. Nothing easy about it. All right, I think I got it up in there. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna hold the wrench. I'm gonna turn the Allen as far away as I can go until I hit the nut or there's a bolt sticking out on the axle that's going to stop me. So there's about a three-quarter turn. I got to do it again. I want to give it about one and a half turns. I know you can't see anything, and my apologies. But uh, don't fast forward because I'm going to be done here in just a second. There goes the next turn. All right, I'm screwing that set screw inward. You know what, just for fun, I'm gonna give it another half a turn. Maybe I won't have to do this again. I'm gonna try to get it at 2,000 or between 2,000 and 2,400 PSI is my goal. I don't wanna go more than that. So, there we go. It's just a total guess. Ah! Now I gotta tighten everything back up. Once I find my own wrench. Now I got tightened up and I have the uh, uh, set screw where I'm going to stop adjusting until I need to adjust more. Now I put the set screw, the Allen wrench back in the set screw and I have to tighten the nut up. Easier said than done. Maybe I can put it over there and it'll hold it. Come on. This thing is just painful. Okay. Actually, you know what? I can turn a lot of that by hand. I know you can't see anything. And I'm tightening it up. Doesn't look like the Allen wrench is moving. Like I've said a dozen times, there's, there's an O-ring under this nut up in this fitting. And it's getting smashed right now. So I don't want to over tighten it, but I don't want it loose either. That'll do it. Let's go see what I did to the pressure. What is this? Round two. We were at thousand, then we were at fifteen hundred. Let's see if we can get to two thousand.
straight line blows. These things are old and crispy. Let's see. here I'm gonna call this a success um, got the pump rebuilt reinstalled the pump at 2200 psi ran quiet and smooth had plenty of power to raise and uh, raise the loader I think I could do anything I wanted with it at that point uh, when the loaders lift and it runs at about 17 to 1800 psi uh, under load and that's that's within spec so that's a good thing that's the end of the year. Have a good New Year.